back and I'm better. And I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I want to give you better. Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So first I am going to prime my eyelids with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and this is just going to make our eyeshadows a little bit more pigmented and have basically make our eyeshadow stick on and last longer. So I'm just going to set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just so that it um, is not as tacky and it helps a lot with blending out your eyeshadow if you set it with a powder. So now I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear um, by Makeup Geek and this is like a warm tone brownie orangey shade. Almost pretty similar to Brown Script by MAC and I'm going to put this in as my transition color and I am going to put that right underneath my eyebrow highlight and a little bit above my crease and just blend it outwards and kind of yeah wing it out a little bit towards the edges. And just doing windshield wiper motion. So now I'm going to take my Tartlet palette. I'm taking um, one of the darker brown colors out of that palette. I'll put everything down below. And I'm just going to take that same fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 511 brush. And I'm going to pack that in the outer V of my eyes. This is a really like dispersed, like smokier type eye. Nothing has to be perfect with this look. That's why we have the tape there. Um, but this is just going to be very like smoky-esque. Esque? On the outside so I'm just kind of blending that in the outer V and we're just building up colors so um, yep I'm just building in that darker brown color still so later we're gonna put in some black and it's gonna be pretty smoky but wearable and you just want to keep blending and blending and blending it takes a lot of blending and yeah <laughs> so now I am I think this is what color is this oh bitten by makeup geek and this is just going to add a little bit more warmth to the look. I am using that same fluffy brush and just putting that in the outer V as well. Just blending the colors together. Not going too far up though. Just kind of keeping it in that same area. And kind of just blending the colors together. Yep, that's really it. And I blend it into the crease as well. With that same fluffy brush. I tried to use the same brush the whole tutorial to make it a little bit easier for you guys because I know I always use like a ton of different brushes but this brush is awesome for like really dispersed looks. So now I'm taking, this is a Sigma brush I believe, like a eyeshadow brush and I'm packing on Treasure um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills all over my lid and this is like a shimmery white eyeshadow sort of, champagne-y color and I'm putting that all over my lid. And this is going to be our lid color today. Um, I think I did spray my brush with some Fix Plus to make it a little bit more pigmented. And I'm just packing that on. Um, this is my first time really using this palette, well this color, as like a lid color. So I wanted to test it out and see how it looks. So I'm just blending out the shadow so that there's no harsh lines with like a blending brush. Now I'm taking a darker color from the Tartlet palette. And as you can see my lighting got kind of weird right here. But it will adjust back. But I'm just taking that fluffy brush and just kind of defining my crease a little bit more with the darker brown color. I'm just really packing most of the darker colors on the outer V. Now I'm taking a black color using that same brush and packing it closer. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, in a smaller V. Like, you want to make it a smaller V. You don't want to blend out all the colors. You want to kind of put it... Um, in the middle of every color that you put on your outer V, if that makes sense. So I'm just putting that on. Now the eyes are done, except for my liner. I'm just going to use my L'Oreal gel liner, and I'm using my flat um, MAC brush. And I'm going to do my wing liner with the tape there still. Um, it does help if you're not used to doing wing liner if you use the tape, because it use, it acts as a guide. Today I'm not going for a really bold wing liner. It's kind of going to be kind of smoky, I guess. So yeah, I'm not making a really thick line, but a very thin one. So now I'm going in with that black eyeshadow from my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going to take like a um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to kind of blend out the line because I don't want it to be as sharp and as neat as it is right now. So I'm just kind of packing on that color. I did put on my lashes already. These are the Coco Lashes. No, the Goddess Lashes by Coco Lashes. So now we're going to go in and highlight. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I already put on my foundation and everything. 
So I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and the LA Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend out those colors together. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I do my full face, I will put the link to that video down below because I just recently did a updated foundation routine. So I'm using the Laura Mercier powder and the Ben Nye Banana powder mixed together. And I pat this underneath my eyes to set my highlight. Now I'm taking MSF and Dark to wipe away that powder and give it more of a natural appearance. Now I'm taking both of those concealers again and I am highlighting the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, more my, like my whole upper lip, my chin, and my forehead. And you want your beauty ben blender, beauty bender, <laughs> beauty blender to be damp where you're blending out. Personally, I like it because it soaks up some of the product, the excess concealer that I use, um, and it just blends out a lot seamlessly for me. But sometimes, if I have like a breakout somewhere, I won't use it. I'll use like a brush. But currently, right now, I don't have any. Thank good. But yeah. So now I'm going in with Fawn. This is a contour shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking my MAC 135 brush. And I'm just going to do a slight bronzy type contour today. I've been liking this lately. I haven't been liking like the sharp contour anymore. I don't know. I, I'm changing. I, I think I'm changing. I'm growing up. So yeah, I am just going to um kind of bronze up my face. I'm going to do my nose a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just gonna basically take that fawn color and just put it all on my cheeks. Now I'm taking Raisin by MAC. It's a blush and I'm going to add some blush, just smile and apply it with that same brush. So now I'm adding my powders to the areas that I did not set. I totally forgot to do it and I just brushed it away with the MSF in dark. And yeah, now I'm adding my highlight. Um, this is Gold Deposit by MAC. I absolutely love this um, as a highlighter. It's amazing on darker skin tones and it doesn't look ashy. And I did add a little bit of Old Darling by MAC as well. I don't think I showed the clip though. Um, now I am um, applying some liner, some gel liner to my waterline to make my eyes a little bit more defined. And now I'm going in with Night Moth by MAC. I've been using this so much. Like you guys are probably like, why? why but I'm using a dark lip lippy today so every time I use a dark lippy I want to go to night moth even if it doesn't like match match night moth just goes with everything like I absolutely love it so um I'm just gonna line my lips and I forgot to put oh darling in the inner corners of my eyes I almost always do this because it just makes your eyes pop now I'm taking um LAX by ColourPop and I'm putting that in the inner portions of my lips Guys, I really wanted to like the ColourPop matte lippies, but I don't know. They're, I just feel like they're extra drying, and they settle in my fine lines in my lips. I did exfoliate my lips before, but it just, I don't know, it just settles weird to me. So the hair that I have in my bun today is from Modern Show Hair on AliExpress. Um, they sent me some hair to try, and the hair is very silky and soft. I just haven't installed it in my whole head yet. So yeah, I'm going to spray my face because I totally forgot with Fix Plus. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys again for watching and all the support and love. I really appreciate it. And have a good one, guys. Bye.